Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Nergat21, and welcome back to Let's Play Shin Megami Tensei 1. In the last episode, we started going down to the basement floors. We fought against Serp, the fire giant king who brings about Ragnarok in Norse mythology, kicked his ass. And we ran to Astaroth, one of the, uh, depending on which book you read, either a Prince of Hell or one of the, uh, 72 demonic pillars, depending on which source you read. And apparently, I did a little digging to figure out how the fuck is Astaroth connected to Ishtar, of all people, considering they're two separate uh, mythologies, but turns out he's slightly connected to her because of the fact that, well, um, the Catholic Church likes to make enemies and monsters out of other pantheons. So yeah, no tolerance or religion at all with the Catholic Church. What do you expect? When a bunch of Jews were worshipping a bull instead of, uh, the man on high, things went sour fast. Like I said, the old man upstairs is a fucking bitch. A dick. A tyrant of the highest order who demands blind obedience and acceptance of his word as law. <sighs> At the very least, that's the Old Testament version, at the very least. And of course, you can't trust the King King James version of the Bible because that thing has been heavily edited to hell and back, so that's not going to count. Anyway, with that rambling of religion out of the way, we're going to head back downstairs, down to the fourth floor and beyond. Now I just need to figure out how to get back. Because there's no fucking save terminals on the floors to tell me whether or not I'm actually getting close to the bottom or not. Which is unfortunate, because that would be very useful to have, and also keep track of my save file, because I'm only going to be able to do it based on fucking levels at this point. Because considering we're level 70, 999 HP, which is typically the max in, the, in this series, I don't know if it goes any higher. It looks like there's digit space, but I really doubt it. And I forgot to... Esma, it doesn't matter because we level up off of this anyway. Stamina. And not uh, Yuka, we want Orthus to tell people to fuck off. I thank you very much. Okay, here's the exit. Yes, I would like to go ahead, please. Thank you. Well, Loki's sleeping. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I am there. Okay, so essentially, I'm gonna follow the path I traveled before. Down we go. As long as I stay on the path of which I was traveling before, I should not get lost. Which means I'm gonna be checking this constantly. Okay. I wanna go. I don't wanna go up. I wanna go down. So. I'm, oh yeah, we have to head, go through the center and deal with the uh, fucking text boxes again. Yes, we wish to go inside. We can no longer hear voices. This is the heart of the cathedral. Wish I could skip this crap. Okay, now I go through this door, right? Yes, it is. Uh, and because it rained a little today, it's humid as balls. Of course, it's what? Fucking 80 degrees? No, it's 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Close enough. Hot as balls. Anything above 70 is when I start having problems with the heat. Especially if it's, fu it's a fucking humid or dry heat, in which case I'm just gonna die like a stuck pig. Ugh, it's not comfortable at all. Why would anyone want to live in the heat? I don't know. I prefer the freezing cold myself. At least that I can live with and survive. 
the heat, I'll die of dehydration and heat stroke before I die of being frozen, or hypothermia. Let's see, and all these places were sealed off, so that's why it's so easy to move through, let me guess. Yep, this way. Do, 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 slowly making my way down. Uh, did I do a turn or go straight through? I went straight through. All right. And back down to floor three. And of course, our mapper spell is inspired. That doesn't matter. I'm just following the path. All right. I turn, go to the door. Oh, jeez, this is windy. All right, we can get the mapper spell back up. Am I going the right way? Did I accidentally turn? No, I did not. Jesus Christ. Map it up. Did I go left or right? I went to the left. Then I go to the right after the store. This is why you always need a map. I mean, I could grant it to scroll to the map on my phone, but I'm busy looking at the screen right now. I took this path, right? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. We're here. I fucking hate this place. My floor three. Yes, I am. And I'm against the northern wall. Well, a northern wall, I should say. This is what I get for not having a, uh, for not having the, uh, stairs on the map right now. No, I did not go through the door. Help if I was looking at the correct fucking basement level. At the very least, I'm getting close. Because I have to go through this fucking hedge maze. Whoever designed this place, whoever designed these dungeons really like their corridors and maze-like structures, don't they? Here. Okay, there's nothing in here. Ah, here we are. Go down through here. This was... That's where... If we go back inside, do we have to fight Astaroth again or is he dead? Nobody's here. Okay, he's dead. Alright, down to floor four. Here we go. Uh, 
I'm not gonna bother collecting chaos aligned equipment on this playthrough, so fuck it. Ah, oh, Jesus. I look at the map and I look at the screen and it's fucking dark as hell. Alright. Here's the stairs. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's where I am. Okay, and we're outside. Okay, where's the... Okay, so I can grab... Can I grab all three of the treasures on this floor? Oh, wait. Basement three is the bullshit. Because we have to drop down from basement two. It's like, okay, fuck that. Not getting that. Never mind. I'm talking nonsense. Okay. Do I really want the treasure? Well, it's not. They're not really that far away, so I might as well grab them anyway. For example, over here is a. Let me get to it. This should be a turquoise. No, it was empty. I've been robbed. Wait a minute. Do the gemstone chests work? In the fact is, if you have one, they're considered empty to make sure you at least get one. Or is there only a certain so many of the gems actually you can get in chests? And once you collect them all in the chest, any other future ones are rendered empty. If so, that's a bit of a dick move. Okay, that way leads to a door. I don't want to go in... Really? Hang on a second. Did I go too far up? Yes, I did! I'm accidentally in another room, because everything's dark as hell. Okay, up through here... Actually, after the full moon goes away, I should be... We have too many items, please discard. What the fuck am I carrying? I have so many of them. Wait, let me guess. Equipment and magic stones? Yep. Get rid of the smoke bomb, we don't need it. I really need to sort my items when I'm back upstairs. We found bullets of darkness! Let me guess. None of us can use it because it's chaos only. I thought so. Alright. Plus, like, we had to come up come in here anyway, so we go full. Oh, yeah. Wait, do we go through? Yeah. Go through this door, and we have to go around. We go through another set of hallways to get to where we need to be. Okay, so... One... Two... This one? Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm facing south, so I want to go east. Wait, what? Oh wait, I had to go one more. Okay, once I'm hitting walls, I know I'm on the right squares. Okay, good. Oop. This is a fucking mess. I don't like darkness dungeons, as you can't tell. And we're out! Thank God. Okay, time for another boss fight! What the fuck are you? Ari Ariok. I'm not actually sure how I'm supposed to pronounce your name, you fat fuck. Holy hell. Yeah. 
Yeah! Oh yeah! You're one of the- you're, Oh yeah, you rebelled and this is what God turned you into. Ouch! Well, aren't you a clusterfuck? Well, here's Tyrant Arioc, level 85. I seem to be noticing a trend here. The deeper we go, the weaker these guys are. That's, uh, kind of pathetic. Although I got a feeling all the bosses that we're fighting on down here, if we were chaos aligned, they would join our party after we reach the depths and talk to Ashura. I got a feeling that's how this is gonna work. Kind of pointless, though. Oh well. Arioc. Ariosh? I'm not actually sure how you're supposed to pronounce it. Level 85, HP, 12, 12 18, 20, 180 MP. What his what is his gimmick? Attack of around 100 physical damage, 3 to 5 characters. Panic. Critical strike. And reflects melee for one round. Ouch. Oh, ho ho ho. I'm glad I decided to read the strategy for this before I committed to attacks, because holy fuck. Apparently it's a good thing I still have the magic shells equipped. Magic bullets, actually. Wait, do I still have those? Oh god. Because this guy's immune to sword and gun attacks, along with 75% resistance to ice and electrical damage. Here's hoping I still have the charm bullets on, otherwise we're gonna be here a while. Not enough. Oh yeah, you're dead. Defend, I guess. Hanuman? Te technically, gun is physical? Orthus, you can't do anything, so defend. Tara, you can't really do anything. Poison, I guess? Let's try it. Alright, we can... Okay, we can still do damage. Ow. Okay, so the problem is, the fact is, we're going to be here for a while. Okay. Essentially, the name of the fight name of the ba the, 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 the name of the game for this fight is to charm the ever living piss out of him do, 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 do. And of course, I accidentally turned off my phone, which means I need to scroll back up to where I was. Which isn't that very far, because we're almost at the bottom of this page anyway. So let's do this again. Griffin, defend, you can't really do much. Hanuman, buff you, or this, you can't do anything. Vitra, you can do poison. Since you passed... Okay, Griffin was doing nothing anyway. Okay, Hanuman's not- that's not good. Worthless, eh. Oh, great, Vitra's so annoying. Okay, so we're doing piss poor damage, because we are not able to upgrade our guns to the best quine. Quine? Can I speak English properly? Okay, our guns are not doing as much damage as I would like, because we do not have the best guns for us to use were be a different story. This would be going a lot faster. But since I don't, I've got to make do. Can we eventually charm you? Because that would be great. Or is the game going to be really dickish and not give me that? Gun, magic, Yuka, heal up Hanuman, please. I 
I don't want Orthos to die, so... Defend. Magic. One last time. Defend. Extra. Okay, I'm gonna have to swap out uh, Griffin and Orthos. They ain't really do much in this fight, which is annoying. So Griffin, you return, Hanuman, uh... Aha Zen, I guess. Support this, you return as well. More poison. At the very least, we're doing a decent chunk of damage per turn, so this guy's not gonna last that long. I wish he would be charmed, so I don't have to, you know, deal with this. Uh, Cerberus, you have fire attacks, you'll be useful. You do hit rather hard, which is annoying. Yeah, we're gonna do two gun attacks. That again, that again, an extra. Actually, it doesn't matter. No, Hanuman can't die because he's my butt. He's the one who busts me, and I really don't feel like going back up several fucking floors. Actually, at this point, just defend. And if Vitar, Vitra, and Cerberus die, I'll just I can just revive them. Actually, summon minion. Is it Kinar or Ganesha? Uh, I forget. I forget who has Rakukaja. I think it's Kinara. No, I want Yuka to cast healing. Tara, because you have a shit ton of HP. Oh, Cerberus was not targeted. Excellent. Gun. Let's do this again. Heal up. A boss fight that actually gives me trouble. Who would have thought? Kinara, you just do Rakukaja to make us take less damage from this dickhead. Never mind, he's dead. It's enough for you to gain a level, at the very least. What fangs? If you mean your sword, it ain't really it didn't really do much for you, pal. Well, that was interesting. Return Cerberus. Exchange, let's summon up Orthus. So we don't have to deal with random encounters. Esma! Oh, the spell's already in effect. Perfect. Okay, well that was it for basement four. Let's head down to basement five. Who's on B who is on B5? See, there's a Hikobari, Dragon ATM here, and no boss. Okay, well this is just a straight, easy path to get to the fucking stairs. Alright, I can deal with an easy floor or two. Make this go by extremely quick. 
Wait. Go back. I want to avoid the traps. So why'd I walk on one like a dinny? That was stupid of me. I want to head north, not east. Oh, and I got poisoned for no reason because of that. Because I'm a Nimrod! But thy name is Nimrod! The only thing I'm missing from that is, a, is to be the town drunk. Or at least one of the four town drunks. Seriously, your parents name you Nimrod? They must hate your guts. Okay, we go up through here. Do I really need the thing? No, I don't. But, wait a minute. Wait a minute. How the fuck? No, I, was, I was gonna say, like, wait a minute. This map doesn't have a path that tells me a door is there to connect to the other hallway to get them down to the basement. F okay. Whoever drew this accidentally screwed up on that part. All right. Well, I was confused for a minute there. I was like, wait a minute. The map, the walkthrough I'm using has maps for the various dungeon floors, and this one does not tell me where to go because the hallway is closed off. The fuck? I was gonna say, I was about to get robbed. No boss on this floor, that's surprising. B6. Uh, oh, Jesus. Um. Oh, my lord. Well, um. Here's a problem. You know that core shield I could have used? I kind of wish I had it right now, because I just look at the map for this place, and holy chaos floors, Batman! That's a lot of damage I'm going to be taking, and a lot of healing I'm going to have to do. Well, on the plus side, there's a soul incense, a hikobari, and a smoke bomb here. Two of which I'm not even going to bother, but the soul incense is right in front of us if through that door. Alright, we're going to take the damage. Ow! Apparently the damage is based on how much HP you have. I wonder if this will be enough to kill Orthus. Go through here. Mapper's pill is expired. I don't care. We have too many items. That's easy to fix. Anyone want magic stones out the ass? Let's use these all on everyone that's not Kazuya because we have max HP. We're gonna be taking a shit ton of damage from this fucking floor. The only one who comes close to us is fucking Vit Vitra over here. Vitara. How the fuck do you pronounce these names? For all I know, it could be pronounced Ritra. Because the fucking R. Eh, whatever. Use this. Okay, let's grab this soul incense in case something really goes wrong. And Yuka somehow ends up dead, forcing me to use a fucking Soma for once. Okay, we just go one tile, one tile. Okay. We didn't take as much damage as I thought. Whew. That could have been nasty. And of course the map spell has expired. Okay, we go through here. Unfortunately, the tiles in front of us are damaged tiles. Sucks. Wait, why am I going south? I should not be going south. I should be going... Wait. No, wait, I do go south. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, first things first, get a fucking map so I can get my fucking bearings here. Face north so I know where the fuck I am. Mapper, please. Thank you so I can see. Okay. We're in the square. Okay, yeah. There's not supposed to be a fucking chaos tile through this door. You lied to me, get, get, you lied to me, map. You fucking lied to me.
Really? You lied to me! There's only supposed to be two there, you cocksuckers! Actually, there wasn't supposed to be there any, them there anyway. Go through here, through here. That's the smoke bomb we don't need. Up here, through here. Hey, Lewis! What are you doing here? That's a good question. I'm here to kill Oshiro. What are you doing here? Yes, we do! Oh, you say so. There's something there that could help us. You say that, L Lewis Cipher. And uh, why do I get the feeling you're leading me to my death? Because... I feel like you are. Well, that was uh, the confirmation we need to unlock the final side quest of this game, which is fighting a super boss. I say that, it's probably not going to be that difficult, actually, because the AI in this game is a little stupid. It's like, SMT has a reputation for being tough and very difficult, but that only really started after... Actually, that kind of started on 3, that the difficulty started becoming well-known. As far as I... Because in this game, it's fucking easy to cheese a lot of fucking encounters. It is ridiculous how easy this game is to make easy if you know what you're doing. More so than, that, than the other, other games in the franchise, but... For all I know, I'm being stupid. And I actually need to use some more... Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I got orbs. Let's use those. I got a shit ton of orbs. Might as well make use of them. And if worse comes to worse, I have three fucking somas. I got a bunch of healing supplies. I'm good. I could use some more soul incenses, but I'll take what I got. And stone is just in case I get turned to stone for some reason. Okay, B7, I went through the door. Hang on a minute. Here are the stairs up. Okay, who's the boss on this floor? Yeah, I'm gonna do that side quest that Lewis opened up for us after we take care of Lord Ashra. That way I don't have to backtrack all the way back down here. Okay, floor seven. The Rai statue, Amida Beats, there's a Soma. And, uh, oh. Oh no, we have to deal with Takeshi on this floor. Oh jeez, that's gotta be fun. Okay, so where's the Soma at? Okay, so the Soma is... Actually, this floor is pretty straightforward. Yeah, this floor is actually straightforward. No chaos traps of any kind that I can see on this map, but I've been lied to before. So we just go through here. Yeah, we just follow the main hallway and, we'll, and it'll lead us to our way to destination. Do I need the uh, Amida beads? No. Let's collect the Soma. Let's see, the Soma is down here and through the room on the left. All right. Well, now we have to deal with our, one of our former friends. This will be fun. I don't like doing this. No, it's not, Takeshi. No, it is not. Yuji has been warped into a mindless puppet, and you have, your, have had your uh, ideals twisted. Chojin Chaos Hero. Otherwise known as Superhuman Chaos Hero. Now here's a spike up in dip levels here. 99! I see you've reached max level here, and you have 2,250 health. Where was this when you were in my party, you asshole? You're an MP. 
Luckily for us, he does not have his move set for when he was a party member. He has his basic physical attack that hits two to four characters, around 130 damage, depending on levels, of course. Uh, party-wide fire, binding, which is annoying, and charming, which is annoying. <sighs> yeah, the AI is kind of stupid. Oh, jeez. Takeshi, if you had your entire move set available to you, you would actually be a decent threat. But as you are, unfortunately, you are screwed. Let's see if you can actually be affected by electricity. I doubt you will be, but it doesn't hurt to check. In just in case you are, let's buff up our defense. Are you affected by shock? Yes, you are. Okay, this fight's over. We won. And auto. Like I said, easy. Wow. That was extremely fucking easy. We earned 63,000 experience, though. That's enough for two levels now? Yes, it is. All right, stamina's up to max. And what do I max after that? <laughs> I guess speed? I'm running out of things to level up here. That's not fucking magic. Okay, um... I'm gonna put these into intelligence just to see if we get more spells. Because I hope so. You're damn straight! We're the protagonist! Of course we're gonna be ahead of you! You could've stuck with me, but no! You had to be out on your own! Try to gain strength your own way! When following me, you could've been fine! You idiot! You dumb, sentimental moron! And hello, Chaos Heroine, who I believe is actually Yuriko, because I'm not trusting you at all. We kind of have to have a straight face! Hi, Lilith! Okay! After we kill Dakeshi, we now have to fight Lilith herself. She's level 80, 1,710 HP, 400 MP, her attacks, around 90 physical, 3 to 5 characters, sleep, charm, and freezing. Oh, great. Do I really want to do auto battle? No, I do not, because I want to actually be prepared in case I get frozen or stats afflicted. Sleeping, annoying. Charm, annoying. Freezing, annoying. I want to actually see if I can get not affected by that shit. Are you immune to electricity? Let's find out, shall we? If she is, well, that's this fight's gonna take longer. If she isn't, this fight's a joke. Okay. She's immune to shock. And Kazuya falls asleep right off the bat. Awesome! Oh, great! Everyone fell asleep. Okay, well, that's not gonna work. Do I have access to more spells now? No, I do not. Jesus fucking Christ. All I want is the final healing spell. That's it. Okay, well, she's immune to that. We well, might as well just hit her with the sword. Hanuman, buff. Kinara, buff. This is gonna hurt. Uh, at the very least, stats afflictions don't stack. Except when we get hit. Okay, let's try it again. This time, not getting afflicted. At the very least, my buffers are not being affected, which is a good sign.
Oh, you did not take out Kazia, which means he's gonna take down at least half your HP in one turn. That's 820 damage. That is 1,230 damage. And you're dead! <laughs> and you gave us just enough XP to level up. Let's level up speed! Another point into intelligence. What do you expect, Lilith? What did you think was going to happen? Here's the thing, Lilith. You're not Eve. That's the pr that's the thing here. You're not Eve. You're Lilith. You are two completely different women. So you could not be with Adam. I'm sorry. Tenma Ashura is right behind that door. Won't come to an end. Taijo Rokun. Fight for what you believe is right. Will we go inside? Yes, it's time for us to go fight Ashura and kick his ass. Now, based on Lilith's statements, we can figure out what's going on between Yuka, Kazuya, and Lilith herself. Lilith wanted to replace Yuka to be with us. To be the new Adam and Eve. Here's the thing, by that, by her statements about us, it tells us very strongly that Kazuya is the reincarnation of Adam, the first man, and Yuka is the reincarnation of Eve, technically the first woman. I say technically because depending on what scripture you read, Lilith doesn't exist. In some, she's the she's actually the first woman, but she's scorned God and there and wouldn't obey subserve Adam. Therefore, she was cast out, which caused God to create Eve. Basically, Adam and the Adam and Eve is a clusterfuck. But the main point is because Lilith is is essentially a unique demon in this game. She's the real version. Therefore, her, her words on the events are actually real. So, based on that, Kazuya is Adam reborn, and Yuka is Eve reborn, and Lilith wanted to get back with Adam. Unfortunately, it didn't work. Which means Lilith is now sad. I feel for you, honey, I really do, but here's the thing. Trying to take Yuka's place and trying to kill us does not really work. Instead of being supportive and, you know, trying to legitimately take Yuka's place through effort and not scheming and dealing and backstabbing and trying to murder us and her, you probably had a better chance doing that rather than being a bitch. Sorry about that. I just can't help but make commentary sometimes. Anyway, down to basement floor 8. Let's go kill Ashura and call and sh to shut this shit down. Okay, basement 8. What f bullshit am I going to be dealing with? None, apparently, because according to this map, is just Ashura is just re directly in front of us. Okay. Alright, let's go fight Ashura. Oh, jeez. I probably should have I should probably should have fused up Lakshmi because Yuka does not have her final healing spell, does she? No, she does not. Ugh. Alright then. Um Portis, we don't need you for this fight, so we're gonna return you back to the box. Instead, we're going to sum up 
Ganesha. Because we're going to be needing his healing abilities for this. Hanuman and Kinar are going to buff us. Kazuya is going to do damage. Yuka is going to heal slash see if he's, if he's affected by shock. If he is, perfect. If he's not, she's going to be healing. Vitra is going to be basically doing something in terms of damage. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure if he's going to be taking poison damage, though. Considering how much bullshit it is. And Ganesha is going to be healing with Yuka just in case. Alright, let's go in. Ah, it literally is Ashura. Okay, Ashura Lord, I apologize. We're not fighting for God's cause. After we kill you, we're gonna head outside, go uh, to the island that Louis, Louis told us to go to. And once we're done with there, we're gonna come back and travel up the stairs and kick and kill a bunch of angels. Oh, fuck off. Oh, piss off. Oh, eat a dick, Tenma. Ashura, Ashura Lord. Okay, Lord Ashura. He's level 110. Of course, the bosses can break the level cap. I see how it is. He has 10,000 HP. He's a beefy boy. 400 MP. All right. Oh, he can drop a Soma as a rare drop. That's nice. What does he do in terms of uh, abilities? His attack does around 170 physical damage, 5 day characters, ouch. Megidolon! 120 almighty damage, ow! Uh, party wide fire, meh, that's not that uh, worrying. The Megidolon though, that's so... Ouch. That's gonna hit hard. I just know it. Oh, and he can heal himself a Diorama. Okay. As long as he's not Diorahan, I'm fine. As long as he doesn't fully heal himself, we're good. And now I can turn off my phone because I really don't need the, it for the rest of the video. I got down here on the final basement floor. I don't need the maps right now. Okay, let's fight Ashura. Okay, gun. Let's see, are you immune to electricity? Because if you are, this is going to take a lot longer than it should. Tarukaja, oh yeah. Extra. Kidara, Rakukaja. Ganesha. You just do your attack for now. Let's see, that's 324. 436. 548. Okay, that was before. Okay. I did a little over 500 damage before I was buffed, so we're on a good good start. Okay, if he's gonna be spamming his fire, I don't really have to worry so much. Oh, shit! And Kinar is immune to fire. Excellent. Are you immune to sh- They can dodge it. So that tells me they are not immune to it. And we poisoned him, too. Okay, we got a plan of attack. Let's do that again. Okay, after we... Uh, after Kinara buffs us four times, we're gonna swap to... How much is this gonna do? Ooh! Ow! Ha! Hey! Oy, oy. Okay, never mind. He just dodged it, but he's immune to it. Shit. Okay, 225 times... Two. Of course. Okay, Yuka. Oh, I kind of wish I had a party-wide healed right about now. The triage is not going to work if I had... Tet if I had, uh... The Let's try- well, I want to see. Can we seal him? If he's immune to all status effects, that- uh, that- that will tell me. But he's not immune to poison, which is kind of which is weird. 
Okay, this will be the third buff. Oh, God damn it! If we could seal off his ability to uh, do spells, perfect. If we can't, we're just gonna have to be do a be beat him with the beat stick. I really don't want to lose either, because I haven't saved. And this would actually be the final boss if we were doing the uh, lawful route. And now that I think about it, because I don't think there is a final chaos enemy as a boss. Do we fight Lucifer in this game, or is that the or is that the or is that the sequel that we do that? Ganesha, I want you to heal up Vitra just in case. Okay, two, three. Okay, that's still good damage. Okay, he's immune to stat effects that aren't poison, apparently. Alright, looks like we're gonna be healing everybody back up. Who's low? Ganesha, you you do that. Let's see. Let's just do this to make sure. Sure, it's probably not gonna work. Because I misclicked. Ha! Pitiful points of damage, you weakly. Oh wow, they can dodge it. Usually they reflect or are immune to it. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, Yuka, actually, you do that. Hanuman, just to make sh doubly short. Damn it. Extra. Let's start working on Suku. Let's start working on accuracy. Ganesha, you heal up... Ottoman. Oh, he's healing himself. That's a good sign. Wow. Hang on a second. Can the boss be cast up to eight times rather than four? Because right now we're at, I think, like 125% increased attack power. Oh, wait, where's that 150? Whatever. If I can still buff myself, let's do this shit. Magic, Diarahan, uh, Yuka, even though technically she's not low on HP. Oh, yeah, Kinara absorbs fire. Okay, we're maxed out on defense. But apparently we're not maxed out on attack, which is weird. Okay, now we just do accuracy. Anyone need healing? No, we don't. Okay, so we just beat him. Beat him to death on this turn. I am honestly surprised he's not spamming Megidola in his physical attacks. That would be really effective against my team right now. Seriously though, if you were spamming your almighty in physical attacks, I'd probably be very close to death right about now. But you're not, which tells me that your AI is seriously busted. Okay, let's keep buffing our attack, apparently which is no limits. Even though that literally makes no fucking sense to do so. And just in case, Vitra get healed. Why are you spamming your fire attacks? What's well, causing your AI to go stupid? Well, he's poisoned now. Okay. I don't think we're gonna miss anytime soon. Let's just keep beating him to death. Vitra, at this time, at this point, just start attacking like crazy. Buff up again. Attack. Okay, now we're at maximum attack power. It took fucking forever. Beat 
his ass, beat his ass, beat his ass. And he's dead! 30, 33,000, that's enough for another level. Speed! You can leveled up! Excellent! Intelligence! You found a Soma! Excellent! You were not so close. We literally were wiping out all of your generals. And all of your support. You're fucked. Climb to the top and face our destiny. Excellent. Hang on, hang on a minute. Am I missing something? Am I missing something to fuse the, uh... Because I think I may have missed a treasure I would want here to make the best sword. Oh, we have the Belial Pot. That's it. Okay. Let's see how much time do we got? We got a few. We got a, a couple of extra minutes. Okay, Yuka. Get us back upstairs, please. Uh... Yeah, Thor Report. Because time for us to get you your ultimate weapon. To the Cathedral of Shadows! Because we got the, uh... Uh... What the fuck's it called? Fuse with the sword. We've got... The Renki no Ken. And because we have the Bel... Wait, we have Bel... We got Belial. Hang on. Let me check Belial's stat. Oh, god damn it. Ugh. Okay, let me go... Let's do this. We have... Okay, we technically don't have Belial as a teammate because Lilith dropped Belial, the Belial pot, which he's sealed into. We can take the Belial pot to the master of the cathedral and fuse it with the Renki no Ken to get... Oh, I bet Belial's not happy about this at all. He gets sealed into a pot, and now he gets fused into a sword. I bet he's not happy with this at all. But we do this, and we get as our reward... The weapon known as... Karyuken, otherwise known as the Fire Dragon Sword. Which is the best weapon for the heroine to have. Or rather, the most powerful. Let's actually see what it actually does. Okay, items, equipment, Yuka, 144, 36, and we give you this, 196, and 27. So we lose three points of strength, but we get a big boost in attack power and accuracy. It doesn't really matter, because with this... I can sell these three, these three pieces of equipment, plus her armor, and I should be able to buy stuff. Or at the very least, buy one or two things. Yes, 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 shut the fuck up. I don't care. Okay, before we call it a day, let us... Yeah, 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 yeah. Sort my items by weapons, please. Sell... Raiden's Whip. We sell the Lotus one because we don't need it anymore. We sell the Bullets of Darkness. Okay, and do I buy the do I buy that suit or do I buy the guns? Fuck it, I'll buy the suit. Equip Yuka Oh my Yeah, we lose all of our uh, 
strength bonus, but we gain a shit ton of magic and intelligence in return. Okay, I'll take plus one intelligence and plus three magic. That'll make her spells a lot more useful. I'll take it. Okay, which means we can sell that piece of junk. We don't need the Sturm suit. Let's see, wait a minute. How much do those golden guns sell? 25,000. Okay, so where's the weapon shop? That's the terminal. I'm not looking for the terminal. I'm not looking for you guys either. Get out of my face. Weapon should be over here, right? Oh, for fuck's sake. Ugh. Oh, we got an orb back. Oh, you're not what I'm looking for. You're not look what I'm looking for either. The weapon shop? Where's the weapon shop? Oh, god damn it. I have to go look at the fucking map. Great, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh. All right, where's the weapon shop on this side of the map? Can you tell me, please? I would really, really appreciate it. Oh, Pfft, I'm an idiot. Let's head back to the terminal because I was a moron. Kill the lich. Don't worry about the assassins. Yes, yes, shut the fuck up. The weapon shop's up here. Yes, I need a weapon, but first things first, we're gonna sell off my golden gun. We can only sell one. That was stupid. Because that... God. Ah, that's annoying. Oh well. We never used guns to be for the longest time anyway. And I just foolishly sold off my gun. Whatever. Well, not like it matters, anyway. Uh, I'm gonna be getting a lot of money, anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been NoGuy21. This has been Let's Play Shin Megami Tensei 1. With, with the Gaian side of the war basically dead, the only thing left to do is take out the Messiahs and their leadership. But before we do that, we need to head back outside to go do another side quest. But until then, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you all next time.